Hey guys, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Studios. Excited to talk to you guys about Washington State and particularly Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew has definitely taken the country by storm, uh, taken the Pac-12 by storm, and he's also fastly rising up the draft boards. And I wanted to dive into why, why that is. Gardner Minshew has done some dynamic things, and he is a great distributor of the football. I describe him as a point guard. And, and he's been the best point guard that Mike Leach has, I think, has ever had running his system. So let's dive into some of the plays and some of the aspects of Gardner Minshew's game uh, that NFL scouts are really starting to see and really starting to like. So Gardner Minshew does a fantastic job manipulating defenses with his eyes and trusting his progressions. So here in this particular play against Oregon, he has a concept here where it is cover two and uh, he is going to manipulate the defense this side of the field just to make sure that this these defenders stay out of the play. What he's got here is he's got a bubble at the top of your screen and they're gonna run an inside release seam route, okay? And what that does is they're trying to attack the middle of the field and try and get inside this safety. So what Gardner Minshew does is he's looking left and he's going through his progressions, but he also knows that he's got the middle of the field wide open and that this guy right here, this post route that I described earlier, is a real winner. So he sets it up, he has his eyes over here, and by the time he gets to the top of his drop, he is now setting his eyes to the post route and throws the ball with confidence, trusts what he sees. And again, the thing that shows up on tape time and time again is ball location. Gardner Minshew trusts his receivers to go make plays, and he also puts the ball where only his guys can get it. As you can see, this DB is the safety has done a pretty good job running with the running with the receiver, but he can, simply cannot get to the ball because of the location of where Gardner. Okay, let's look into the next play. The other thing that Gardner Minshew has done a really good job of is going through his progressions. He is I've time and time again I've seen him go from number one. To, to his fifth receiver in the progression. And that is something that's really hard to do as a quarterback. You have to really be bright and process information quickly. So in this situation, his eyes go from here and his feet. The other thing as you watch him is his feet are so calm. He always keeps his base and he always is tying his feet to his eyes. So he'll go from one and then his eyes will go to two, to three, and then eventually he works it back all the way in this last picture he works it all the way back to his running back who is fifth in progression and is wide open in the flat. And the reason why he's wide open in the flat because the defenders are looking at his eyes. They are flowing with his eyes and he is trusting the progression. And because he does that, he now has made this running back more open in the flat and gives him an opportunity to not only catch the ball and get a completion, but then to make some uh, yards after catch for a first down. The other thing that pops up is Gardner Minshew's toughness and his self-belief that he can complete any ball on the field. This play right here was outstanding, really stood out to me. Uh, in the USC game, he has a free rusher coming right down his face. And as, as quarterbacks, we talk about staring down the gun barrel. You know you're going to get hit, you know you're going to take a shot, but you got to complete this ball and you got to let it go and trust it. And what he has here at the bottom of the screen is he's got a post route. Okay, a skinny post, a time post. And what this throw is, is it's all about timing and location. And with the guy barreling down in his face, he knows he's going to get hit. He throws a perfect ball on time and out in front. And what that does is because he throws it out in front, now this receiver is able to go and score instead of it being slightly behind him where this DB can now make the play on the receiver and tackle him uh, you know, and for a first down instead of a big explosive touchdown. Again, what was so impressive about this was he was staring down the gun barrel, knew he was going to get hit, and he threw it on time. And let's go back to this picture. He's ready to throw this football right now, and this receiver has not gotten out of his break yet. That's, that's called trust, that's called belief in your, in your receivers, and again, it pays off uh, for a nice big touchdown. Finally, the last thing is Gardner Minshew has done a fantastic job of extending plays with his legs. It's one part of his game that's, that is underrated, and he does a fantastic job of, of deciphering when it's time to extend and keep his eyes downfield and throw the ball, 
or when to take off and run. And this particular run versus Colorado uh, really displayed his athleticism and his ability. As you can see, he's got this nice jump man. I expect to see that on a t-shirt along with the mustache mania. It's been a lot of fun watching Minshew rip it up in the Pac-12, and I ex fully expect him to get a Heisman invite to get a trip to go to New York. But again, NFL scouts are really falling in love with this young man, and if he continues to perform like this through the rest of the year, I continue to only see his stock go higher and higher.